the world doesn't really care you went before you went to college. They care when you come out of college as your first job. Once you're in the door, it really is rather about irrelevant. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's right for the most part. I'm not gonna lie. You said that economics was not the best thing to study, in your opinion. Like Correct. when I when I put my hand up, the question I wanted to ask was like, what do you actually think the best thing to study is? Well, the best I mean, reason to come to college. Again, if you're going to a super left wing college and you're trying to just get the piece of paper and credential, I mean, you should go at what the college is. It's if it's known for, if it's best at. Um, and so I don't know what UW is known for or what it's best at, but I mean, computer science, right? I would imagine the Paul Allen school. Is that right? Or am I correct? This is up top of my head. Is that right? It's right here, right? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, those fields in particular, but sociology or the, or the life sciences or soft social sciences typically do not have as much of an ROI on the time or the money spent. And so, and the reason, and Charlie Kirk is actually right here, but the reason why universities or schools may suppress this information or pretend like what he's saying is not true is because the reason why institutes are able to build gigantic tech buildings or gigantic finance buildings or gigantic nursing buildings or gigantic med schools you know the fields that tend to make a little more money or tend to make a little more financial sense the reason why they're able to do this is because of other majors that tend to not make much money because what they do is they'll get the money from a major that doesn't make that much. I'm not going to say any because I don't want to trigger any students <laughs> because of their major. But I just say, no, I'm not going to say any. But y'all know what I'm talking about. They'll take money from those majors and finance other majors. And what I mean by that, they'll use your money to give, let's say, an engineering student a $50,000 scholarship while you have to pay everything out of pocket. That's what they do. That's what happens. And but so in order for the the ecosystem to continue, you have to be there because you have to pay them so they can pay the other students. So you economics said, is in the middle ground there. And so you said uh, that you would defund colleges, state colleges on a national level. Yes. Um. And so basically, well, that would mean yeah. that there are no subsidies going out to students, right, like yeah. in-state students or anything like that. I, I, w I mean, you don't get to determine what the states do, but yes, federally, all federal grants should end completely. Yes. Okay. M make these institutions survive on their own. If they're such, if they're so wonderful and they're so great, then make it work. Make your uh, make your numbers work. And so then, what is the difference between a uh, state college and a private? Privately owned college. Well, a state. So UW gets subsidized in-state tuition here, right? Yeah. So if you go to um, that's why that's why I'm paying only no for 10, sure twelve thousand. No, no, a year. for sure. Right. But you're paying it back in taxes. Let's be clear, right? So taxes make that possible, and your parents or you paid that in for eighteen that's years, yeah. so you get that back. Um, but a private school, uh, I don't know, is there a University of Seattle? Is that a thing? Or yes. I mean, okay, which I'm guessing is private. Seattle U, yeah. Okay, Th that they do not get money from Olympia to subsidize the tuition. Uh -huh. So they have to stand on their own two feet. Right. So they have higher tuition yeah. and they have to justify to donors how they're doing every single year, yeah. but they still might get some federal money. Yeah, the only, the only, and it's not even an issue, but this is more so a question. If let's say you remove federal funding from state institutions and just say, okay, there will only be private colleges now or every college has to stand on its own two feet. And this is a real question. How would that work for state colleges? Because let's say an institute is funded by the state. So would all their funding disappear? And what if the college goes down? Would the students who go there have to go somewhere else? All I'm trying to say is if you remove federal funding from state institutions, will there be enough colleges for people who want to go to college? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of state Universities just will cease to exist because they probably won't be able to fund things they were able to fund. Meaning that that refers to a state college. So a lot would just disappear. So would the colleges also disappear? And this is a real question. What would happen if you remove federal funding? I never thought about that perspective before. Does that make sense? Yes. And you're saying this on the grounds of uh, required like diversity credits. And no, I just think. Like I mean, look around. Has college enriched our society? The young people are the most depressed, they're the most anxious, the most alcohol addicted, drug addicted, least married, most angry generation is in American all, history. Is that all? Hold on. College? Where, where, where does that? Where does it come from, though? 
I mean, they're the most college-educated, most credentialed generation in history. Where do these ideas come from? It, I it, would argue, I would argue that they come from the fact that there are too many people and not enough jobs. And to stand out of the crowd, to stand out of the masses, you need to get yourself some credentials. Oh, I totally so agree. Can, so you want to stand out? Don't go to college. Then you're not going to get hired. Work for me. Work for you. I'm Start your own business. By the way, that's not true. Half of employers no longer require a college degree requirement. Well, yeah, what he's saying, it's true if you want to become a, an engineer. You know, the, you know the, I don't even have to say the careers. If you want to be a, a doctor, engineer, lawyer, blah, 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 you, of course, you need to go to college. You need a degree in 99.9% .9 of cases, especially a doctor is 100% of cases. You need about three degrees to become a doctor. Two or three, I don't, I don't know, but for the average student, you don't necessarily need a degree to get hired. Of course, there's a social benefit, I guess, to getting one, but even still, you have to do what's best for you. If you are taking out a crazy amount of loans, or you're just going into something that just naturally doesn't pay a lot, or maybe the job market isn't the best, you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day. It just makes sense. This is not me trying to shoot down college or boost up college, but it's your life. This is not about what Charlie Kirk says or what your family says. You will have to pay back the loans. You will have to work in that field. Nobody will have to do it for you or will do it for you. So really consider your options. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about more specialized jobs. That's, that's fair enough. Right. Yeah. As far as trades go, okay, that makes sense. 11, million, trade, your two uh, 11 like, million job openings for trades. Yeah, you're using your muscles to uh, get your daily wage. Well, right? it's, not, but, it's not just muscles though. Like for advanced engineering is not easy. That's not just picking up lumber and putting on one side of the warehouse. That's very specific, very, you know, and by the way, you can learn to code in eight weeks and earn a hundred grand a year. You can, Yeah. yes. Uh, maybe and you don't not. need to go to University of Washington. The thing is, though, the thing is, though, that uh, you are not going to get hired over somebody that has graduated from the UW You'd be with surprised. a computer science degree. You, you've been sold a lie. You've been surprised. You'd be really surprised. Employers less and less likely actually want to hire kids from college because they work the least, they're the most entitled, and they're quickest to run to HR about problems and mispronouncing people. Um, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. No, it's true for like the big, big firms like Microsoft, Amazon, Starbucks. Like they obviously yeah. want you to have a college degree. Yeah. But mid-major companies, mid-level companies increasingly don't care. They care about okay. can you do the job? Like do you have any sort of skill? Do you have, are you going to work really hard? Do you have good character? That makes sense for like startups and such. Yeah, yes. for sure. Um, however. And, and if, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, usually the big, big places, and that's what I was kind of going to say. They, they actually care if you have a college degree, such as Microsoft, Apple. And the reason I say they care is because they mostly recruit from colleges. I, I don't know exactly why, but if you spend most of your time at colleges recruiting students, you will just tend to care about stuff like that. However, I don't know about mid... He called them mid-major companies. I couldn't tell you. If he says they don't need it, then they probably don't. As long as you can do the work, you're hardworking, who cares? And here's the thing, after, just sorry to interrupt, but after like five years, nobody cares where you went to college. Just so we're clear. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. Yeah, uh, all good. I mean, we, we, have, we just have a disagreement here. My, my whole point is to try to push the boundaries of discussion to make you guys open your eyes and realize you guys are getting ripped off by the institution here. Uh, and that's it. So Yeah, so I do not believe that I'm getting ripped off because in my field, it is very important, especially with how oversaturated it is right now. I'm studying CS. Computer science, yes. No, um, there's tons of jobs in computer, but I mean, there might not be though. I mean, there aren't. That's the point. AI and so, might take all your jobs away sometime soon. By out, the way, to stand out, the whole point is that here and elsewhere around the country, we're doing a bunch of research on how um, computer scientists and and like engineers in general are still going to be useful with the rise of AI. Other elsewhere, you don't learn stuff like that. You learn the basics of programming. You've maybe heard about like the Harvard. Uh, eight week course, right, that you were probably talking about just a second ago. Um, however, uh, when you actually do uh, take that course, you don't get a lot of the reasoning skills, a lot of the practical application skills, and a lot of the things that I'm learning every day in my classes. And so, the yeah, what he's, and I would say what he's talking about, you don't, but that's a different argument, if I'm being honest, when it comes to getting a, a career or a job. And what he's saying makes sense. You get more practical skills. You definitely get more research for sure if you go to college, meaning you will do more case studies or, or theoretical uses of a, of a subject and definitely more laboratories on specific subjects. However, 
this is not necessarily relevant to getting a career or a job. And that's what Charlie Kirk is referring to. He's not referring to your theoretical use of a of of a subject or of a of a of a material. He's referring to hiring, job, the the main purpose that you go to college. Of course you go to learn, but in the backbone of learning, you're learning to do a job or start your own company. But what you're kind of referring to, and of course it makes sense because you're a student, you will get more laboratories or you will get more, you know, knowledge from a subject technically from labs and research and what could happen um, in the future. But this doesn't make you a better worker necessarily. The fact that uh, you can learn it in eight weeks and get a job because you have the qualifications. Uh, it's true, maybe, but in the market that we have right now, where the job market is super oversaturated, there are a ton of people getting computer science degrees. Yep. These employers, most of the like high level ones that are going to pay you a lot of money, are not looking for somebody who has the base level qualifications. They're looking for no. more than that. And one more thing is that that to get these jobs coming straight out of college, even with a degree in computer science from UW, which UW is known for computer science, you are going to have to have years and years of internship and job experience in most cases. Otherwise, you're going to be doing the base of the base level. Fair enough. Right? So we, we just have a difference of a worldview. Um, I say, why not graduate from high school, learn to code and go beg for an internship and bypass the college thing completely? You'd be amazed at how willing people are to help with that. Again, you guys have been largely sold a lie that you need to march through this place for four years and check the boxes and get the piece of paper and it's been dangled in front of you. I'm here to tell you, and I'm only 10 years older than you, that the world doesn't really care you went before you went to college. They care when you come out of college as your first job. Once you're in the door, it really is rather about irrelevant. But we just... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's right for the most part. I'm not gonna lie. If he's talking to the average student, they don't care because let's be honest, most most jobs don't require a degree. I would say it gets a little complicated when you are in STEM because degrees and not necessarily where you went, but they do care about your level of degree. And I don't know about computer science. I I wouldn't even tell you, but in a lot of STEM, they're like, okay, do you have a master's degree? It gets it gets weird. However. For the most part, he's definitely right. And this student, you you have to admit, for most degrees, yeah, what he's saying makes sense. But if you have any suggestions for me, comment down below. Tell me if I do it.